everybody, my name is Raven, and tonight we're going to be talking, or I'm going to be talking about my paranormal experience. So I am going to be making three parts of this, so this will be the first. So the first I will talk about is at a place called the Black Victoria Swan Inn. And we do have that here in San Antonio, Texas. So get comfortable because here's my paranormal experience with that. So when me and my friends decided to go to the Black Swan Inn was only because of the fact that there was a fair there. It was a gypsy fair. And with that, with the gypsy fair going on, we decided to check it out. We were like, oh cool. The house was nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, the house is nice. It's a beautiful on the outside, a big beautiful white house. But I did see all the vendors outside first. I didn't get to go in the house first, so I saw the outside. And now necessarily, when I got close to the house, when all the vendors were outside, I literally did feel like something was wrong. Like, I felt something wrong and I literally could not understand what it was. But then I discovered... I felt presence, but it was paranormal. Now, if you've seen Ghost Adventure, Zach Bagans does, and all of all the Ghost Adventures who they feel the same thing. They feel like a presence with them. I got goosebumps. I got chills when being near that house, even if it was outside. And necessarily, it was just creepy. Now, we did go inside that house, but the upstairs to that house is blocked necessarily because someone owns this house guys someone owns this house they were just nice enough to go ahead and actually let vendors and a fair happen there so yeah all those bedrooms upstairs they were blocked off by a barricade the barricade was actually on downstairs when we did go to the vendors inside when we got inside the house by the entrance um I did stand by the stairs and what happened was I felt another I felt something again like someone was watching me so I look upstairs to see if someone was standing there there was absolutely no one there as much as I wanted to go upstairs I could not because the barricade was there again this is a house owned by somebody guys literally I felt something I thought someone was staring at me from downstairs I kept looking that way nothing. I literally kept looking that way. Nothing. And I still felt like someone was watching me even though I was walking to the different vendor tables inside the house. Quite honestly, I felt really creeped out, but all the same time I felt really intrigued. Cut to where we had to take a break outside because we were tired and all everything was getting ready to shut down. Uh, this was around 5 o'clock, I believe, if I recall correctly. Mind you guys, this was way back in, I think, either 2018 or 2017. I don't know. Um, I did want to go ahead and mention there is a farm near that house. So when we went outside to take a break from all of the walking around, we decided to get a drink, uh, a soda, could cool us off because it does get hot here in Texas. And... I thought I heard something at the barn. So I looked and there was like a huge backyard with the barn right there. Now, this is just me and my friends. We're being stupid. But we got one of those like mobile apps that you used like those paranormal like ghost things on your app. We thought it'd be funny just to try it. Just like, you know, try it. See what goes on and everything. Um... Now, mind you, those apps are fake. Some of them are not, I've heard, but most of those apps are fake. And we did go ahead and try it, but for some reason, I didn't feel like I was getting faked out by an app. I felt like I was just being paranoid by an actual paranormal experience, like a spirit is right there. Most of the time, I felt like the history of the Black Swan Inn is just completely, completely weird, but also very creepy. 
If you guys ever come to San Antonio, I recommend checking out the Black Swan Inn. I'm not sure if they're doing fairs or anything like that anymore since COVID hit, but I guess you'll have to find out if they do on Facebook or wherever you can find it on their website. So I will be talking about the next paranormal activity that happened to me, but that will be another video. And I have actually talked this, uh, I've actually talked about my paranormal experience with my parents. I will put the link down there for their channel if you want to check it out. I actually will go ahead and sign off. So that is my mini, this is actually my mini experience with the Black Victoria Black Swan Inn. So I will be talking about the railroad tracks next time and I'm going to be combining it with a narrow paranormal experience I had at the Donkey Lady Bridge here in San Antonio, Texas. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out those videos then you should go ahead and subscribe because I know it's been a hot minute since I've actually done a video, but I am fully getting ready to be making YouTube videos again. I also do have a TikTok. I do spend most of my time there, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out my TikTok, I will put it down there as well. But yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I'll see you later.